advertising is a science, but it's not a science mm-hmm. because See, sometimes a, yeah. a, sea, a, a high school kid's sea otter could outperform <laughs> like companies with multi-million dollar design yeah. teams, ad budgets, and it's kind of crazy. That's- Man, welcome to the intro. No need for introductions. All about the world and the world what we discussing. Where every single thought that we had came for something. So it's funny that we made it when we started here with nothing. Gotta open up your mind just to find out why. When you lost inside the dark, it's gotta turn on the light. And no matter what you do, you never run from a fight. Because we fighting to be better and that's why we strive. Hi, I'm Corey McCain. CEO of WeStrive, the number one platform for personal trainers, gym owners, and coaches to both manage and scale their business. I'm your host for Why We Strive, where every Tuesday I sit down with some of the most incredible tech founders, investors, and creatives to find out how, when, where, and why they strive. Be sure you tune in every single Tuesday and check us out at whywestrive.com for more info. Now, let's get to this week's episode. Well, sweet. I am here with the CEO of Free Water. Uh, if you live in Austin, they're all over the place. And if you're, I mean, if you live in the U.S., they're probably all over the place too. We'll get there in a sec, but um, I'll let you open your Free Water really quick. <laughs> the cheer. Oh, yeah, we gotta do a cheers. Uh, cheers to Free Water. I've already had a lot Thanks. of these, so I, I'm, I, I'm I'm safe to drive though because it's water. So, mm-hmm. um, if you want to introduce yourself, we can kind of get started from there. Uh, sure. My name's Josh Cliffords. I'm the founder of Free Water. Uh, free water is the world's first free beverage company. Uh, it's actually negatively priced. That's the most uni- most unique feature. It's free because the ads on the packaging. We also donate 10 cents per beverage to charity to build water wells for people in need. And we still make money. Um, this is the first product of our future free supermarkets. Oh, what? Oh, God. Just dropping bombs right when we get started. And so what I, what I like okay. to show people is um, look at your smartphone. Yeah. What's, a, what's a smartphone? It's... Yeah. It's technology you can't live without, Mm -hmm. right? Hardware you can't live without. What's water and food? It's also hardware you can't live without. 100%. What's the App Store? The App Store is uh, an ecosystem that Apple and Google take 30% off the top of everything. Mm -hmm. They get to do that because you can't live without the iPhone or Mm -hmm. the Samsung Galaxy. We're ultimately creating a new type of App Store and ecosystem that's based around negatively priced Mm -hmm. groceries. So we make money paying you to eat free food. I love that. (laughs) I mean that. Uh, love that. Uh, if you, yeah. Wait, how far away you think you you are from like the grocery? So we are just looking into the permits right now for fr- uh, negatively priced beer in the state of Texas. Wow. Okay. Um, then we'll do negatively priced tampons. Um, we're also looking. That's into, really cool. That's uh, it's ridiculous how much tampons cost, and you like as a woman you have to have them. I've mm-hmm. always thought that was like yeah. Anyways. And so uh, <laughs> then we'll get into uh, free marijuana or legal. Damn. And then we get into free groceries. And so there's just different. Uh, okay, first off, I want to point out I fucking hate advertising. <laughs> I hate advertising with a passion, okay. um, but I've created ways to make all these things negatively priced in the future with no ads in, and we still make money. I love that. So we will one day disrupt the ad supported model with uh, gross, free groceries with no ads. So consider it just a step in the direction of people getting used to uh, getting lots of high quality stuff for free. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, everyone here, like you were just meeting the pipe dream guys, like we love your product, huge fans. Um, also, I realize you have P. Terry's here, and they're getting extra ads because it's on the free water on the podcast. Love P. Terry's. Very great, great Texas burger stand. Yeah, is it only in Texas? I'm curious. I've, I've I only think seen it's it in only Texas. in Texas. Okay. I think they've got like 60 or 70. If you're in Texas, go to P. Location. Terry's and Austin Pets Alive too. I know both these brands. Okay, very cool. I've been meaning to uh, donate some real estate to Austin Pets Alive for a really long time. So very cool. Oh, this is a donation that with the Austin Pets Alive. Yeah, they're wow. great. They're so that is the uh, cat and dog that they cannot get adopted because they have a no kill policy. It's like Mr. M and Kayla or whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> um, so I was like, let's put them on the can and see if we could get them adopted. That is so incredible. If you live in Austin and want to adopt these dogs, I'll put a bigger picture. Mm-hmm. Ah, wait, there we go. Yeah, then cat and a dog. Cat and a dog. Or sorry, dog and cat. Yeah, yeah exa- either exactly. Way. Um, okay, incredible. So what what made you want to, I mean, it's, it's I mean, I can't hate in any way on the product but what made you want to do it free like why weren't you like 50 cent water dollar water like what was the well it's negatively priced right so our parent company is called better than free because our products are better than free nice and so uh 
long story short, mm -hmm. uh, for my 30th birthday, I went on a trip around the world. Okay. And my goal was 100 countries in four years. Dang. And I was That's a long birthday. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. <laughs> the 34th birthday. And so birthday I was, yeah. uh, you know, a quarter of the way through that, and I realized I really hate taxi drivers. Okay. Because it didn't matter what country you were in, they always ripped you off on the meter. Mm -hmm. But Uber was brand new in, in, in terms of scaling across the world. It was 2015. Okay. So I started taking Uber um, in different countries in Europe, for example. Mm -hmm. the final straw, though, after getting ripped off by dozens of taxi drivers, uh, I was getting an Uber to a music, the biggest music festival in Hungary called Sigit. Um, okay. Some people call it the Burning Man of Europe or whatever. Okay. But um, Uber driver pulled over and tried to rob me. The, the Uber driver did? Yeah, I pulled a knife out on me. And Damn. when I got out of that situation, I walked the last like mile and a half, two miles to the festival. And I was yeah. like, I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to put all these Ubers and taxis out of business by opening the world's first free autonomous taxi company called Free Taxi. Wow. Elon Musk will make the self-driving cars for me. I'll yeah. just build an ad platform. And there you go. So Damn. I started working on that on my free time while traveling the world. Mm -hmm. And I solved it like really quickly. Um, it's still something we're going to do later. Actually, we have 25 cyber trucks we ordered. We're going to have free cyber trucks for ourselves with that model. S sick but um, I realized free wasn't good enough. Yeah. Because, um, you know, you have to have like a bigger moat around your castle. If I mm -hmm. launched that Toyota, Uber, whoever would just copy with no difficulty. Mm -hmm. So I realized, you know what, these companies run um, so inefficiently that I need to find a way to go negative 150% off. Okay. So to pay you to take the ride in the free Uber. Hey, okay. And if I do that, no one could copy. Yeah. So I was working on that. Um, I was in Rome for five minutes later on the trip. I met these two Nigerian brothers. Their story was so terrifying and mm -hmm. sad. Yeah. I canceled my trip around the world. I made a nonprofit called Save the Refugees. Very cool. And we helped more than 10,000 people. And speaking to mm -hmm. them, during that time, I was still tinkering with free taxi, free flights, actually free renewable energy and other things, free pharmaceuticals. <laughs> and I found that of the 10,000 people we helped, 20 or 25 percent of them said they left their country because they didn't have water, food or medicine. Dang. And so I was like, you know what, I'm going to solve that stuff, too. But I was still so mad at the taxis. I was yeah. like, I'm going to do that first. And so volunteered for a while, got married. Yeah. Um, then uh, took a little break, got back into it. And I was in mm. New York City making a commercial for free taxi. Mm. I was the guy on the street in Times Square, like, would you take a ride in a free Uber? <laughs> and um, my camera guy needed some water. So I go into the 7-Eleven and I look and I see some boxes of boxed water is better. Are you familiar with the brand? The box, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really ugly logo. They're mm -hmm. waste, they're real estate. I looked at the box and I remember the missing people on the milk cartons. So I was like, wait, we've always had the ability to print photogenic quality on packaging it's mm -hmm. got to be better now and then i felt my phone in my pocket like wait everyone's got a computer in their pocket with a built-in qr code reader and nfc chip scanner mm -hmm. and i remembered the refugee thing um and yeah i went home i told my mom like mom i don't know what to do like I'm, i feel like i'm getting somewhere with free taxi but free water seems really important mm -hmm. she was just like listen you're no elon musk no one's going to give you a car company or an energy company we're poor and you're not famous but she was like, if you could prove your idea with water and food, then they're going to listen to you for cars, computers, and everything else. What advice. Else. That's a very wise advice. And so <laughs> went back, uh, made the pivot to free water, yeah. and then uh, started kind of plugging away ever since. But the free water business models, uh, free energy and free transportation dumbed down 99%. Very cool. No, it, honestly, I didn't know that was going to be your answer. I thought you were going to be like, I just wanted to do it. And then, yeah, <laughs> so that's a really, I mean, I, I feel like I have an entire other podcast to ask you about the other stuff. Um, I feel like you guys just kind of own the word free then. I feel like are you guys like trying, can you trademark that word? So you can't trademark yeah. anything that's descriptive. And so we, we, mm. we blew. Oh, gotcha. Well, what about we work with well, we? Well, free. I feel like we is like. I mean, you could say we other ways, but there's okay. really, you know, gotcha. free water, free pizza, free beer, free taxi. Did you already dibs all those? Um, no, you can't. Can't, they're, they're descriptive, so no one could trademark oh, them at the gosh. moment. Oh, but the way that gotcha. trademark okay. works is four or five years ago when we've kicked everybody's butt, I'll own them anyways. And nice. so there you, go. There it's, you, go. you have to kind of earn them a different way. Gotcha. Okay. And so gotcha. We, we would rather have SEO than trademark. Fair. That's fair. That's totally fair. Okay. Um, very cool. Well, I want to touch on your uh, viral video that you just had, uh, which my well, we all know about it in Austin, and then I saw it on LinkedIn. I saw my friends posting about it on Twitter. And then it, people were putting it into our group chat too, not even knowing, like they probably knew who you guys were, but like it was just like an awesome video. Um, so what happened with that? Like how, how did you guys get that video to blow up so well? I was in uh, Europe for my brother-in-law's wedding. I brought a, a 12 waters with me mm -hmm. just to give out a few on the street. Yeah. Um, 
and 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 you just never know with TikTok. You get lucky. Um, people in America get shocked when they hear what Europeans think about Americans. Oh yeah. You yeah. know, and I lived in Europe for four years, so mm -hmm. I'm really familiar with it. Like yeah. when they think of Americans, if they think of food, they think of like GMO, McDonald's, mm -hmm. Burger King. Um, Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper is illegal in Europe. Is it really? Illegal? Yeah, because like things like that are illegal in Europe. Mm. Um, they also think about Flint, Michigan. Like I would never want American water. Oh yeah. And so um, that, that guy just kind of let me have it. I answered his questions. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Posted the video on my flight back from Frankfurt to Austin. By the time I landed, it already had like eight million views, and then it's got so like crazy. fifty million views in the first like seventy-two hours around the world. Because some people yeah. would then reposted on Twitter and I saw that they got millions of views yeah. and then people were reposting it everywhere. Like I just saw we were in like uh, the news in India for it like, so this morning. Cool. Brex is the all-in-one financial toolkit for every scaling business. With products built for scrappy startups, expanding mid-market companies and large international enterprises, Brex has a suite of financial products that caters to the uniqueness of your business. If you're a founder or overseeing spend in a large organization, Brex keeps your team spending within policy, on budget, and housed in a single dashboard, saving you time, money, and stress. With everything from free, interest-yielding bank accounts and corporate cards, to expense management and budgeting, and so much more, Brex is your go-to, all-in-one financial platform for scaling your business. Well, how do you how do you monetize off that video? Like, do you or like, like you said, I think you might have mentioned to me earlier. Like, you guys are talking to other brands now through that video. Like, what, where are you guys at with that? So usually, um, when you create a company, you've got a new customer acquisition cost, mm -hmm. right? Like, if you're selling T-shirts, you probably have it dialed in. Like, if I spend this much money on ads, you know, it costs me five bucks on ads. I sell a shirt. I make this much. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah. We have a zero dollar new customer acquisition cost Love that. Yeah. because uh, it's our job to give away free water. Mm -hmm. And so if you receive a free water from us physically, mm -hmm. you're sold for the rest of your life. You want free pizza, free groceries, mm -hmm. free Ubers, free anything. People right? love free stuff. But if you yeah. see a video of somebody getting something for free, you're equally as sold. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important because other companies in the past that invented new concepts, they had to spend a lot of money on um education for example mm -hmm. when uber launched with the iphone one they spent so much money giving the drivers the iphones they oh, had to give you the iphone they had yeah. to teach you how to use it they mm -hmm. had to that took time money whatever yeah no i mean we just go viral i think we've had like 150 million organic impressions in the last 12 months so cool everyone around the world knows what's going on like students teachers they're all doing reports about us at their schools so like cool. so the education the base level of education is there mm -hmm. so just in the last year i think we've like a hundred thousand people came to our website to sign up like give me give me free stuff when you're ready cool. and then some of those people are like hey i want to advertise to those people yeah. hey i want to invest so yeah. If the consumer doesn't know it's possible, then mm -hmm. the advertiser or investor or distributor doesn't know it's possible. Mm -hmm. And so it just kind of, it supplies, it fuels both supply, demand, everything. Exactly. Like you're still, yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, that's, that's one of the questions I had. So like we have P. Terry's here. So I'll get into like a bunch of sponsorship questions in a bit, but like how does P. Terry's find out about you? And then what are they, is it like on a per bottle basis, per hundred bottles? Like what are they paying to get on this bottle? So like, it depends know. on the number of units, if it's paper cartons or aluminum <laughs> bottles. Okay. Did, did they have advanced. a choice on what it goes on? Did they, or is that your guys' that, choice? No, that's, that's the advertiser's choice, okay, right? Cool. Like gotcha. they choose yeah. aluminum bottles, paper cartons. Um, cool. Some advertisers need a lot of custom artwork. Gotcha. And okay. so we include a couple of hours of custom art, or like artwork into the whole system. Did, but if did, they need like yeah, 20 yeah. hours of artwork, then we charge extra for that. Mm -hmm. Also, it's like... Um, Water's heavy, so if somebody said, mm -hmm. I want 100,000 waters, yeah. okay, that's great. Are we shipping them to you? Yeah. If we're shipping them to you, we have a set price, but if they want us to give those away, mm. it's 120,000 pounds of H2O. <laughs> like, there's, yeah. a lot of, yeah. there's a lot to go into that. Like, <laughs> yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what time of the year is it? Do you need ice? Do yeah, you need yeah. this? Uh, we'll need more warehouse space. That's like, crazy. how many truckloads is that? How yeah. much? So it, it does, it, it, it's always custom. And then, uh, so when you're, when you're, I mean, I have like 18 questions off of that one yeah, last go, sentence. Go. So 
when when they sit when you're saying it costs time for artwork are they giving you this design or are you making this design p terry's had their own design a lot mm. of times uh, but we made that design for austin pets alive okay very cool but they gave yeah. us the photos of the cat and dog and we cut them out and whipped something up cool for them very cool so some brands have especially the bigger companies they, they've spent a lot of money they have like style guides so they i figured give you, yeah, yeah they yeah. give you like the yeah. book and the style guides and even if uh some of those brands i've said like hey uh, being fully transparent here i think your branding sucks. Like, <laughs> You're like, I don't, I'm not putting that on my bottle. No, but just, um, <laughs> like, we don't want to just take people's money. Like yeah, if, yeah. if we don't think it's going to work or if they're not branding themselves in a good light, I'm going to mm-hmm. tell them. And if they say no, like go with it, we're going to, we're going to mm-hmm. go with it. But at least I've said my piece. Exactly. And so, okay. Um, so some of the bigger brands, they're really stubborn or stuck in their way. Like I'm going to mm-hmm. do this. I've spent a million bucks on a style guide. Mm-hmm. Uh, some small brands, uh, whatever. I mean, advertising's crazy. We had a contest last January. Um, for whoever, uh, we had a secret contest, whoever commented the most on our TikTok in like three weeks, we're going to give them free ad space. And you, you didn't tell everyone that? No, we just like saw. Very and cool. so yeah. a high school kid won, I think from <laughs> California. What? I think he's like in the 10th grade. And so I had to get permission from the parents. And I was yeah. like, what do you want us to put there? And he's like, I really love sea otters. <laughs> And so I was like, really? I was like, well, what do you want the QR codes to go to? He was like, one to my TikTok account and one to my my mom's friend's art studio. What? So I said, totally. So I was, I didn't want it to look bad. So I'm on the internet for like five hours, like trying to find the right sea otter. And then I found a couple. Then we gave it to the graphic designer, our yeah. graphic designer, Morgan. She's a ninja. She does so many amazing things. So mm. she cut it out. She put a cool background. And so during South by Southwest, we had like, a lot of different looking cans on the table and mm-hmm. it was kind of a social experiment like let's see which ad people are going to grab very interesting you know yeah, one yeah. ad one ad said um you got 50 dollars in bitcoin if you downloaded their app very cool and attached their bank account another ad was selling like women's shoes another ad was selling like so mm-hmm. many different things mm-hmm. car insurance this, that. sea otters didn't yeah. matter yeah. who you were you grabbed that sea otter yeah and so <laughs> um and why there was no call to action like some of these ones had amazing calls to action yeah. so Advertising is a science, but it's not a science mm-hmm. because sometimes a, a, yeah. sea, a, a high school kid's sea otter could outperform <laughs> like companies with multi million dollar design yeah. teams, ad budgets, and it's kind of crazy. That's so funny. That's, a, that's an amazing story. Um, so if so, if someone's watching this and they want to sponsor a bottle, what is the process? Like, how does that work? Um, usually they go to the website, they fill out the get a quote um, okay. thing, they leave a detailed message, we okay. get back to them. We just onboarded our first uh, more than full-time salesperson. Before cool. that, we were all kind of just doing it. Um, mm-hmm. Right now, if you left to get a quote, we would probably get back to you in 10 days because we're so overwhelmed. Oh, well, there you go. That's good. Um, yeah, yeah. Now we're getting it down to 24 hours. Okay. But um, like eight weeks ago or so, or like a month and a half ago, we had our record. The most active visitors, new visitors who visited our website mm-hmm. in a month was like 106,000. Very they cool. They stayed for like 45 seconds. They did their things. A lot of them leave messages, which like floods the website. I love that. But then with that video with the European guy the other day, <laughs> we had 55,000 people visit the website in a single day. Wow. Okay. And so it's, these are good problems to have, mm-hmm. um, but it just floods the website with stuff. Mm-hmm. And people will click on the distributor page or the advertiser page or the mm-hmm. whatever page. And then it's like, give me my fucking water. <laughs> like, I will do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will I will <laughs> climb the highest mountain. Just give me the water. That's like, so cool. I almost need to start making videos of the messages we're getting on the website. Should, but I don't yeah. want to promote it because it'll yeah. just continue. Like, to, get way to go worse. It'll just yeah, keep yeah, yeah. flooding it with... Um, but yeah. yeah, it's like it's great problems to have. Like yeah. most startups I met, they can't get people to visit our website. Their mm-hmm. website, like we're having too much traffic. Yeah, and we just can't even keep up with it. No, I mean that's that's an incredible. And it, well, one thing I want to bring up is that you're your events, but like. It's so cool how like everything you guys do, like everyone's just winning. Like it, like it's there's no like losses happening. So, you guys have sponsored three of my events. Actually, I don't. You're so busy. I don't know if you know that, but you've sponsored three of my happy hours that I host. Oh, and then amazing! We're hosting one here tomorrow at Pipe Dream for their yeah, launch party. Which I'm excited be, for that. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Um, are you guys actively reaching out to like? Are you guys doing a lot of events intentionally to like get this distributed, or how does that work for you guys? So, again, a full full transparency yeah. here. Uh, whether someone orders a thousand waters or like 2000 waters from us Mm -hmm. or somebody orders a million waters, the sales pipeline takes the same amount of time. Gotcha. And so we've been just 
trying our best to keep up with the inbound. Okay, so you're not um, worried about and getting And so we're not even gotcha. going outbound at the moment. Gotcha, but yeah. soon we're going to get the inbound down to <laughs> yeah. where it's like it's a 24-hour thing. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to start attacking outbound. Um, okay, gotcha. Because there's a lot of deals, like multi-million mm -hmm. beverage deals for us just sitting there mm -hmm. where we have absolutely zero competition. Yeah, yeah. And, and so <laughs> exactly. it's like, it's yeah. good, you know, so... We, we want to be respectful to the inbound. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not cool for me to be like, fuck, if you leave a get a quote message, it takes forever. Like mm -hmm. we're we're trying our hardest working like crazy hours. And so we'll, we'll get that nailed. Um, we'll get the we'll get the response time down. Mm -hmm. Then we'll start going outbound. We probably have. I mean, even though we just put a distribution uh, option on the website. Mm -hmm thousands and thousands of people that want to be distributors or that want to set their events or nice Wait, it's, yeah well, why not even <laughs> if we had even if we had coca-cola economies of scale today yeah we could not keep up with the demand <laughs> and that's that's a great problem to have right yeah i mean that's it mean, that's incredible i mean again like there's no well is there ever a situation where you're let's say like a, a hilton wants to bring you guys in the fold is there ever a situation where you're charging them because like they just have so much money and they, they want like a million bottles a month or something like that. Like we have a deal with a big hotel chain brewing. Um, we okay. just, they want 600,000 beverages a year. Okay. Um, what they're, they want boxed water Okay. and the deal that they're, they're, they're pushing for, and we're going to work our hardest to get it to them is mm -hmm. they want the first side free. And so they're going to connect us with all these other businesses and slightly mm. upcharge them because they're the house. They, yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So on 600,000 waters a year at a buck a unit, they're going to get $150,000 of free ad space. Mm. And then it saves them $70,000 a year because that's what they currently spend on bottled water. Gotcha. And then it uh, donates 60K a year to charity, which is going to save thousands mm. of lives, which is amazing PR. So very cool. Uh, the new salesperson, we're going to have them actually attack that deal as well as other ones. Mm. Once we knock down that major hotel, copy they're base. all going to exactly. fall in line. And so some of them will have deals with Coke, Pepsi or Nestle. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, for everyone listening out there, those deals do not hold water because um, <laughs> oh, no. they have they were, were, were PR and marketing yeah, yeah. and they have a deal with Coke or Pepsi or Nestle for water. Mm -hmm. We're not a water company. Mm -hmm. It's a free company. Yeah, yeah we're, we're an ad agency. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so yeah. no one would give a deal with Coke, Pepsi, or Nestle for marketing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so exactly. like sports teams, everybody who has all these major deals, they're all going to eventually jump ship once they realize that they could make a lot more money with us mm -hmm. and, and do good deeds at the same time. Oh, sorry. I'm just catching up now. So you're saying like this has nothing to do with the water they're drinking. It has to do with they can advertise on is what you're saying. Well, there's I mean, only so much, with the water too, there's right? only so yeah. much money you can make selling water. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And so, yeah. uh, water that's not branded. Yeah, exactly. And so, um, like the Lakers or whoever is out there, you mm -hmm. know, they all have their deals with Dasani or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I think they care more about making money than not making money. And <laughs> exactly. when they realize that they could 100% their current revenue, yeah, yeah. then they're going to be like, wait a minute. Well, okay. what, what's their new, what's their new sponsor? Is it like, it's a is it Coinbase, their new arena? What's it called? Oh, it's, it's it crypto? is crypto.com crypto. crypto. yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, yeah. I totally see crypto.com putting their banner around the water. Yeah, of that's, course. That's and a genius. I mean, um, it's a triple blank canvas. So you could print anything on the packaging. You could connect anything on the internet with QR codes. And mm -hmm. we could use augmented reality to advertise beyond the packaging. So too. cool. So cool. And these are just the earliest days. This is mm -hmm. like below mm -hmm. MVP. That's so crazy. How, how did you guys get started financially? Did you guys raise a seed round? Like, did you have capital yourself? Like, what, how did it start? So, um... I failed one million times getting started. I, I spent okay. my life savings. I, I spent like four Bitcoins and a bunch of Ethereums before they okay. were worth anything. Okay. Um, I failed miserably over and over again. Actually, when I first started, I was 32. I didn't know how to type or use a computer. Okay. So like I had to like buy a computer, teach myself how to type before I knew anything about coding before. Mm -hmm. Did you so, learn to code yourself or? A little bit. I, I'm more okay. of an architect than a coder. Gotcha. Okay, and gotcha. so, um, so yeah, I, uh, I just failed over and over and over again. It was really costly. Mm -hmm. um, then I started raising money because um, people started asking. I said, no, mm -hmm. no, I'm not taking it. I'm going to do it all on my own. Was what, what, Where were you at with the waters at that point while you were not so, taking money? Um, okay, well, even before that, um, I was like in $60,000 in debt. It was mm -hmm. the pandemic. <laughs> like I was just going to go bankrupt because it yeah. was like project or nothing. I didn't care about my debt or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. 
I was driving Uber late at night same, just, same. just to buy like my first pallets of free mm -hmm. water to distribute. Mm -hmm. And then I got the call that my mom had passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And no. um, I inherited $100,000 of insurance money. Okay. And so when I got, actually like 130. And so when I got that, I got out of debt because I didn't really care about it, but that's what she would have wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and I injected the majority of that back into the project. Very cool. So I started ordering the first pallets. Um, the first pallets of water just said free water on it. And so it was 100% out of pocket. I was giving them out in Austin mm. and then um, just started putting it on TikTok. Things were like really starting to ramp up in those early days. Um, but then people would reach out like, can I put my logo on the can? So, so, oh, so you didn't have that idea. That was from customer feedback. That's no, 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 no. Oh, like, you did have the idea. I just okay. didn't communicate it well <laughs> oh, gotcha, enough, gotcha, right? Okay, gotcha. um, it, it, so then the next round out of pocket said, your ad here and explained mm. everything you could do with the platform. Okay. But it still wasn't enough. Um, mm -hmm. So I started doing collaborations out of pocket okay. um, where I would, the first like 30, 40,000, I went out of pocket. Um, but it showed people like, wow, I could fucking print anything on the packaging and I could connect anything. When you're saying out of pocket, were you putting other people's ads on there or were you still doing the year I was ad putting here? their ads on it and just paying for it. Just, oh, for totally free. Gotcha. Yeah, okay, just gotcha. so people could see what it looked like to see all these different things mm -hmm. on the packaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then people started reaching out to place orders. Very what well, lucky people that got to be your original free <laughs> um, <laughs> advertising. I mean, they're definitely going to be collectibles, those bottles. Oh, for that's sure. the, the, the original free ones. The waters. original ones, yeah. 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 And then, um, Very cool. But yeah, yeah. so it, it's just been, I mean, you know how startups are. Like, yeah. it's, Every day, it's like a new challenge. It's mm. a new opportunity. Mm -hmm. You just keep tinkering, keep yeah. pushing forward. And so it, it's been a blessing. Um, mm -hmm. Who would have thought free products that donate to charity <laughs> would be a big hit? I love that. Well, and so do you, as a founder, do you prefer, well, both personally and financially, do you prefer the aluminum or the box water yourself? They both have their pros and cons. Okay. And to be honest, um, Neither of them are as green as I want to take it. Okay. So big picture, like we choose those package types of packaging today because they represent the most eco-friendly packaging with the shortest lead time. Okay. There was some like bottles that look like they're made out of plastic, but they're made out of corn or sugar cane. Mm. And when I called the manufacturer, the lead time was 18 months for the empty bottle. So no advertiser wants to wait <laughs> two, like, years, <laughs> two yeah. years to get it like yeah. designed and yeah. filled and, yeah. and, um, so these represent the shortest lead time, mm -hmm. um, most uh, green containers available, but big picture, we're going to make the world's first 100% hemp packaging. Okay. And so um, interesting. Okay. one day the big, the big dogs are going to try to cut us off of our containers. Mm -hmm. And before then, we're already going to be making our own and our own supply chain. And so Very by then, cool. we will be able to manufacture mm -hmm. uh, the most eco-friendly packaging on the planet for cheaper than Coke or Pepsi can make a plastic bottle. That's crazy because I was about to ask you if you're ever going to make your own of these and that apparently, yeah. They're, yeah, they're, so they're, yeah. Um, in these early days, what we've proven is that doing everything um, inefficiently, sometimes being to double ship, um, not vertically integrated, low mm. economies of scale, no economies of scale. Yeah. We earn 20 cents per unit and that's after. Salespeople get paid, charity gets paid. But and, as we... Are these like a dollar cost to you? It what depends it? on the number of units. Oh, gotcha. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. And so... Um, Cool. Yeah, so in these early days, um, doing everything horribly inefficiently, no scale, uh, we make 20 cents per unit. When we manufacture the products ourselves in the future, we're going to make 60, 70 cents per unit. When we make the packaging ourselves in the future, we'll make 95 cents per unit or so. Mm -hmm. um, when we add our media and e-commerce platform, we're going to charge 3% for all products sold. That mm -hmm. means we could earn more than $1,000 from a single free beverage in the future. When we add the app store to it, we're going to be taking 30%. And again, it's not just on the water. It's all products and groceries. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, um, it'll be mixed reality app store, which is going to be pretty awesome. That's so crazy. Um, and, and yeah, like, um, people always think that it's not possible mm -hmm. or that it's barely possible or that we're like this getting by, but this is more profitable in the, it's more profitable in the future to pay you to eat free food than it is to sell it to you. And That's it's because it's the combination of these new opportunities in marketing and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. but new ways to manufacture and distribute that aren't possible otherwise. Um, and it's cost savings. So for example, um, when we have free supermarkets across the U.S. in the future, mm -hmm. we're going to cut USA food waste by 30%. That's so 30% cool. of all groceries go straight from the shelf and into the trash because mm -hmm. it's too expensive. Yeah. And so, but it's not just 30% because 
maybe that piece of fish came from Alaska and mm -hmm. it was wrapped in plastic, but that came from oil from Saudi Arabia, which was shipped to China to make plastic pellets. And those plastic pellets get shipped to Alaska and then they smelt them into a wrap. And then it stops like 12 unnecessary stops mm -hmm. by the time it gets to HEB where we live and then just goes into the trash. Yeah. And so it, we're talking about 60, 70, 80 billion dollars a year in savings That's in crazy. the future, plus um, these just really next level ways to do things. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, when the dust settles X number of years from now, our products will be discounted at 150 to 170 percent off. That's so crazy. One day someone's going to be like, you know what? Our free products are negative 20, 120, and we'll go negative 125 that night. And they're going to go negative 130. We'll go negative 130 because we're so always going to have yeah. the best value proposition in the negative zone. That's so insane to me. I, I mean, I love everything you guys are doing. Um, one, one thing you guys are also doing is 10 percent of this goes towards building water wells, correct? So um, um, a minimum of 10 cents, it says 10 cents 10 on the cents, can, sorry, yeah, yeah. but we're actually averaging 15 to 16 cents. Very so cool. we're donating more than we promise. So what does that, what does that mean? Do you guys have a specific like company that builds water wells? Are you guys building the wells? So like, right uh, now we've been donating to Well Aware to Austin based uh, grassroots nonprofits. One of the few nonprofits I found in America that guarantees their water well, a hundred percent success rate for life. Um, billions oh, cool. of dollars get wasted every uh, couple of years in Africa where we build, someone builds a water well and it breaks within 90 days, 180 days. That's crazy. And so we didn't want to partner, we didn't want to donate to someone just to have the well. Mm -hmm. I mean, imagine how uh, disappointing that would be if you're walking like a few hours a day to get oh, I couldn't water. Even, yeah. And then now all of a sudden they've got a well in your village and it's like, wow, I could get a job. I could go to school. And then 90 days later to, you know, six months later it breaks and now you're walking to go get the polluted water again. Yeah. And so um, this year we built two water projects. Next year the goal is 100, then 1,000, then 10,000 and so beyond. So cool. Is, are you guys eventually going to like get so big that you guys are the ones building the wells yourselves? Or what do you think? Um, or are they doing a good enough job that you don't need to? I think they do an amazing job. Mm -hmm. But I, there's just so many, so many things that you could do at <laughs> exactly, one time. Exactly, yeah. um, but what I will say is yeah. when we're building thousands of these a year, mm -hmm. Um, the, the price per unit will get much cheaper because we'll just buy that much steel pipes. Mm. And yeah, up, yeah. you know what I mean? It'll be like the Costco for building water. <laughs> exactly. wells. We're going to buy so much in bulk yeah, yeah, that yeah. we're just going to drive that price down to nothing on that too. That's so cool. Hey, where do you guys get the water from? Like So the... today we outsource it from different uh, springs and manufacturers across the United States. We mainly okay. leverage a couple. Um, Boxed Water's got locations in Georgia and mm. Northern California. They're building a new one in Colorado. Mm -hmm. Aluminum one is in Georgia, but we've got agreements with other manufacturers across the country too, in case we need every, every week, every day, someone else is reaching out like, Hey, I've got the biggest spring in Canada. Like, how do we do business? Hey, I've got, I've got, you know, a massive spring here in Kentucky or Georgia or Tennessee or, mm -hmm. um, everybody's been reaching out because they want to get involved. It's, mm -hmm. it's a really cool, magical experience. Um, People, people are saying like, hey, I don't want to work with Nestle. Wow. I, I've got this amazing spring. I've got this amazing water. I've got this amazing farm. I don't want to do business with a Coke, Pepsi, or Nestle. It's unethical. We found you guys on social media. Like, what do we have to do to get involved? So cool. And, and it's, that's like in every country around the world. Like, people are reaching out from Peru, South Africa. Like, dude, this you, is you cool. name it. You name yeah. it. Like, they're – and so – it, it's it's not a company it's a movement right yeah. uh, we just happen to be a company and we're kind of leading the the charge in it mm -hmm. but it's just in a movement to make sure that everyone has access to basic human needs and so my why mm -hmm. or the vision is it's negatively priced supermarket mm -hmm. everything donates to a different charitable cause um, starting with water we donate to the water wells mm -hmm. the average american spends like 500 bucks a year on bottles of water and the people that mm -hmm. do that drink um, up to six bottles a day Dang. and so we just need to give 10 percent of americans three bottles a day mm -hmm. and at that moment we're donating 3.4 billion a year to charity to end the global water crisis That's within crazy. like a half decade or so we've we've solved it without a penny of tax dollars mm -hmm. and then free beer will donate to something else and then free tampons will donate to something else free pizza will donate to something else yeah um but we're not just stopping at our products we're making everything else free too so you'll see free McDonald's, you'll see free Walmart, you'll see free Target. Um, even if they don't want it to be free, it's free through our platform. Where yeah. They can't stop us. The only way they would <laughs> be able to stop us is if they stopped accepting uh, digital payment. They'd okay. have to go purely back to fiat in order to stop us. That's so crazy. 
Wait, and, and who's all doing this? Like, what does the team look like right now? So I know Albert. Right now, shout out Albert. Hey Albert. <laughs> um, uh, we've got I think fourteen now. So okay. like, it started with just my wife and I about a year ago, and I think we a just a year ago, and now we just Jesus. onboarded like I think our fourteenth person or thirteenth or fourteenth. It gets kind of yeah confusing. Yeah, around like twelve, you're like. I don't know. <laughs> um, and and yeah, um, you know. Everyone involved in our company or anyone investing, they, they realize that we've got two wins here. Uh, the, the consolation prize is mm -hmm. we make such a compelling case that uh, the world's biggest companies squash us like a bug and they open a better free supermarket that donates more money to charity. <laughs> if that happens, we're going to save all those lives anyways yeah, and yeah, change yeah. the world <laughs> you're anyways. Like, you're like, fucking do it. <laughs> yeah, we're super, like, please copy us. Like, I'm yeah. telling the executives from these companies, like, what do you want? I'm like, copy us. <laughs> Um, way number two is, yeah, I recoup my investment and I started mm. the free Amazon. And so mm, it's, I've cool. crunched the numbers. It's, it's too much money. It makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like I just, I, I work on this project out of guilt. Like how would you feel if, if you knew that you were going to save, you know, millions and millions of lives, but if you quit, like that blood's on your hands. So it keeps <laughs> yeah, me, it true. keeps me waking up <laughs> early every day and pushing forward every day. That's cool. Well, speaking of every day, that's my next question. What, what does your day to day look like? I usually wake up at seven. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't shower anymore. I'll take a bath because from yeah. a bath I could work on my phone, and so I've lost shower privileges. Um, by eight a.m. By eight a.m. Um, if I take my wife, she's European, so she doesn't drive. I'll drive her to work, um, or I'll go work in the city. But usually by like eight thirty nine, I'm just doing the day to day stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'll get home around nine or ten p.m. Okay, um, and then I'll finish up at around one a.m. Mm -hmm. There you go. And so, like, usually, like, 7 or 8 in the morning to 1 a.m. seven days a week. Yeah. I wanted to thank you for watching this entire episode of Why We Strive. Be sure you head to whywestrive.com and subscribe so every Tuesday you can see incredible interviews with some of the best tech founders, investors, and creatives in the industry. Have an amazing day, and don't forget to keep striving.